Welcome everyone. Welcome to The Verse with your host Ando, author, Bible teacher, and coach. The Verse podcast is a place where the focus is on God. Here in our podcast, we believe there is a treasure in God's Word. Once found, we increase in faith, in love for God and for one another, and in ability to stay in His presence. As a result, our lives and of those around us change for the better. Your help spreading these messages is much needed. Your financial support will keep us on air. Therefore, we ask you to continue to follow us, share our messages, pray for us, and support us financially. You can give via the PayPal link below. Thanks again for being part of us in helping believers believe. Blessed morning, blessed afternoon, blessed evening, depending on the time you are listening. This is Ando representing the Verse podcast where we help believers believe. Today, by God's grace, we are going to cover uh, how to pray um, by the way of worship. I do remember last week we covered uh, the way of or, uh, how to pray by the way of being very, very specific. So today we are going to move on in a different way. Uh, I do believe God will be with us just like he has been in the in the other teachings so let's go ahead and invite him to be with us this hour father in the name of jesus thank you for who you are thank you for your love thank you for your will and thank you for the ways you speak to us and today we are going to um, uh, appreciate your presence once more to teach us on how to pray and specifically to pray via the way of uh, worship. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Help us to do this this hour. And I pray also, Father, for those who are listening. Father God, let this word not just be another word. Let it be uh, in them, the life itself. Thank you, Father, for the authority in this word. Go ahead and let it be the way you have intended before the foundation of the earth. I glorify you this hour and Holy Spirit, I decrease. Go ahead and increase. Use me to reach to your people and may we be enlightened to the levels you want us to be enlightened and let us not stay enlightened, but we want to go ahead and be doers of what you are going to teach us today, what you are going to Tell us today what you are going to command us today. We pray this, believing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So let's move on right away on uh, the way of worship. Glory to God. We are blessed to have um, many, many ways of how to approach our God. And I do believe there are so many Really, there are so many. Every day, as I covered this topic before, I mentioned that being led by the Holy Spirit is really, you can't exhaust that. It's, 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 it's just more than what you can number. You can, you know, you can count, I mean. So let's just keep on being open to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Let us keep on being open to the teachings of the Holy Spirit because um, he is really, really interested in teaching us on how to pray and not pray, just pray, but pray uh, to get the answers, pray to get things done. Glory to God, because a prayer is just not uh, just a time with the Lord and nothing uh, you know, happens. No, we don't believe that. We do believe Prayer is um, uh, work, and that work 
you know, it, it brings forth uh, fruits, brings, bring, brings forth the outcome of that work. And therefore, we are blessed once again to go another, another uh, level of how to pray. And this time is by the way of worship. W O R S H I P worship. And I went ahead and defined worship. I found out worship is the expression of reverence or honor and adoration to God or to deity. But our deity is our almighty God. So I just had to put God there than saying deity. Because, yeah, we choose to worship the living God. <laughs> okay, not any higher power. We we know who is the, the, the source of power. Glory to God. So worship, once again, is the expression. You express it. And expressing expressions uh, it can be done uh, um, without words, okay? It, it can be done without words. So we are going to express our reverence. We are going to express our honor. We are going to learn how to express our adoration to our God, because Jesus left us with the mandate saying, pray. Now you need to be praying because you haven't asked anything yet because you had me. So when he was getting ready to leave the earth, he said we ought to pray. And this praying is to his father via him. Glory to God. We covered that way, way, way days, the days before. I do believe you. If you can just go back and, you know, listen, one of those, you will find the one we covered that very uh, sex, um, lesson that he left us with the mandate. The mandate that we need to pray and uh, pray to who? To God. Ask God the Father. And by his name, not any other way. Otherwise, you're not going to get the answer. So um, worship once again, because this is a, another way of praying. Worship is expression of reverence and honor. Glory to God. So as you uh, express that without word, there's so many ways of worship. But today we're going to just, you know, cover one. Uh, the one which is uh, an art of worship uh, by way of giving. Giving, giving your time, giving you your light, the knowledge, giving you your influence, your salt. You know, we are salt and light. So you give yourself for uh, for others. Glory to God. So worship is also a way of expressing our need, hallelujah, or expressing our readiness to go before the Lord, to be vessels and be usable at, in whichever way. Because prayer, as I said before, is not just give me, give me. Prayer is you really put yourself there as a vessel before the Lord and you allow him to use you the way he sees fit. So in worship, that's the way also of expressing, telling him, I'm here, I'm ready use me the way you see fit. So praying is not always give me, give me. You can go in prayer without having any agenda, but you become the agenda of God. You make God, you know, uh, ha ha to have the last to say about you at that moment. Therefore, worship, it can be giving your time, giving yourself really fully. You say, you know what? I love you, Lord, so much. According to your scriptures, you say, love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. So you express your love by just letting go of all of your yours, which is your will. You say, you know what? My will is just going to stay here. I'm going to have God's will be a priority. That also is a form of prayer. Glory to God. So as you do that, then God takes care of your needs. 
because he is in his word that seek first the kingdom of God and this other shall be added unto you. So as you let go of your uh, uh, goals and your, your, your desires and you say, you know, God's will it comes first, uh, you will be amazed how he going to intervene in your situations. So worship is that place of letting go of you. You can't speak it. You can't say it. You are just there to have him order your mind, order your will, order your day, even or uh, direct your 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 possession, direct your 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 finances, direct wherever that he will choose that day. That's how we are we believe that we are led by God. He orders our steps. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So that's worship. So let's go right away in Malachi. Malachi, we will go there and see Thank you, Jesus. How the Lord wants uh, uh, us to worship him. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Malachi. Some scripture I'm not going to read, but I would have you go ahead and um, um, read it to yourself so that we can save time. Glory to God, so that we can save time. Glory, glory, hallelujah. <clears throat> so in Malachi, he say, you know, sons honor their fathers, and uh, uh, they do what their fathers is asking. So he say, if he is our father, you know, Malachi 1, 6, if he is our father, where where is the honor? Where is his honor? So uh, if we, we, we can just um, start right there. God demands the honor. God demands the rever uh, reverence, adoration. You know, all that he is, he just asking for us to reverence him, to worship him. By the way, we are created to do that. The Bible tells us to worship the Lord. So as he is asking in Malachi 1, 6, you know, we being natural parents, uh, we we desire and it's, it's, a, it's a blessing to have children honor you as a parent or a guardian, you know, a grandparent, a guardian, you know, that person who does a whole lot for this, uh, children, uh, you, 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 you are blessed to have them, you know, give back just that honor, that just that reverence, that just that, uh, place you desire to be as a parent, as somebody who gives a whole lot for them. So father here say, if you being fathers, you, you require or you, you, you ask or you need the honor from your, 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 your sons and daughters. How about me? Where is mine? So we want to do that this way of praying. Today we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, 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 learn about how we can please our Father by worshiping Him in a way of giving. Worshiping Him in a way of giving. And Malachi, as you know, is a, is a book whereby it mentions also offering and tithing and all that kind of things. Therefore, let's go ahead and move on to Isaiah uh, 65. Isaiah 65, um, <clears throat> thank you, Lord. Isaiah 65, 24. Um, uh, we are praying. You know, all this scripture I'm going to read from now on, is, 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 is it shows how they received their needs by way of giving. How these people we're going to read uh, in these scriptures uh, today, they received the answers, they received the desires of their hearts by way of giving. They gave first. And as we say, we are learning how to worship God with our finances, time, uh, 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 
you know, things, you know, you, 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 you give it to him because he ha he is in need of it. Just like, uh, Jesus sent the disciple to go and, and, uh, and tie the donkey and say, whoever will ask, tell that I am in need of the donkey. So this, this time we are going to lead to, to, to study about praying by way of worship by way of giving. And as you do, do b believe that God will honor your worship and give the desire of your heart even before you mention them. Just like uh, Isaiah 65, 24, it says, and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. Okay. We are going to pray without words, but with action with the expression of giving and God will honor that because that's who he is, is written before we go ahead and ask or call him his name about whatever the need we have. He will go ahead and answer us because he is a God who looks at his word to, to perform it. Looks at his word to fulfill it. Glory to God. Okay, we're gonna move another scripture which shows how they how they prayed and they received the answer. First Samuel chapter nine, verse seven. Glory to God. Then said the Saul to his servant, "This is um the time before Saul became a king. I just want to to say it before I, I read, it so uh, you understand where I am at." This is Saul and a uh, 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 servant. They were going to look for their father's donkey. So before he became a king. So in their search for the father's donkey, they remembered that there is a man of God in that area where they were at the moment. They said, you know what? We, 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 this man of God can tell us where uh, the donkey is, but let's go and see him. But they knew the rule and the principles and they knew that what needed to be given to the man of God uh, for them to receive the desires of their heart to get to know where the donkeys are. So as, a, as a we learn today, giving is the one way of worship. So they worshiped the Lord by thinking on what they're going to do, uh, going before the man of God without anything. This is what it's, it's reading. Seven, I'm using King James, and sometimes I will move to Amplified. But uh, listen to King James, it says, First uh, Samuel chapter 9, verse 7, the, Then said Saul so to his servant, But behold, so the servant suggested, Let's go, uh, let me start six. And he said unto him, Behold, now there is in this city an, a man of God, and he is an honorable, honor, okay? Honorable man, all that he says comes surely to pass. Now let us go there. Per, per, perhaps he can show us how our way that we should go so they can find the donkeys. Seven, then said the saw to the servant, but behold, if we go, what shall we bring the man? Let me use the amplified. Then Saul said to his servant, but look, if we go to see him, what shall we bring to the man? For the bread uh, from our sacks is gone, and there is no gift to bring to the man of God. What, what do we have to offer? <laughs> I like that. So they knew to get their answer, to get the answer from the man of God who is very honorable, according to the recording here, the scripture, very honorable. They needed to give. They need to give something. And because they knew that, they started asking themselves. So you, and they, surely they f figured it out and uh, they went to the man of God and surely the man of God told them just like the servant believed that he will tell us where the donkeys are and we will save ourselves from, you know, going back and forth and not getting what we're looking for. We, we might as well go to the man of God, go to God with the worship offering, give gifts, uh, uh, 
honor him by the, the substance we have and God will surely answer us, will surely direct our path, will surely lead us where we need it to be. And now in our season as we are a man and a woman of God, I mean we are in a, in a, in a time whereby we need to use all means of contacting God because we are so much in need at such time as this. So do not hold to that substance of yours. Do all you know how to even add on giving. If you did all the rest, you fasted, you, you are, you are specific. I mean, you use the name of the Lord, you quoted a scripture, but the issue is still standing right in front of you. It's not moving an inch. I mean, try giving try to offer God something and, and, and see that way may work for you. Glory to God. So they said, you know what? We've been looking for the donkeys so long and we are kind, uh, getting tired here. And our father may be, you know, um, concerned about us now because he was concerned of the donkeys and now he will be concerned about us. So they decided to offer and surely, they receive. So do not hold the substances. Give. You may not say a word, but you have that in your heart. God will see why you are giving and he will honor the giving. He will honor that and give you the answer. I'm here to help us believe the word of the Lord and go ahead and receive so we can be victorious. We don't want to be crying, crying and while we are not doing it right. We may be praying and doing all we need. We, we, we have to, been taught to do, but we never added giving. Try to give and see uh, what God can do for you. The next scripture we're going to read is in the same Sam, uh, the Second Samuel. Uh, second Samuel, glory to God, chapter 24, verse 24. I like this one. This is King David at the time, you know, King David was a man of war. He was fighting almost every day. <laughs> fighting with the neighbors, fighting with the countries. I mean, fighter. He was used to fight. And this time he was losing. The people were dying everywhere. His army was literally, literally losing big time. And he remembered to worship God, to worship him in a way of offering the burnt offering. And he needed a place to do that. And he went ahead and uh, found a place. And this is what the scripture talk about. 24, 24 of second Samuel 24, 24. It says like this, <clears throat> but the king said to uh, Arauna, no, but I will certainly buy it from you. So he was looking for a place to do the burnt offering, an altar to a place, build an altar and give offering in a form of worship, reverence and honoring God. Perhaps God will hear uh, his cry and, and re remove the plague which was causing his army and the people to die like that. Just like now, you know, we have all these issues going around us, around the world. You know, let, let's try giving God an offering. Let's try to, to give God our lives. We are really the, the, the prayer, uh, the house of prayer. We are really the living sacrifice. May we offer ourselves daily so that we can, you know, uh, get favor before the Lord against these pandemics. You know, they are kind of lining up one after another. So may God help help us today to worship the Lord, to pray to, to our heavenly father in a way of worship. And we will absolutely receive because God is not a respecter of a person. He didn't just answer for, for Samuel. He didn't just answer for, uh, for Saul. He just didn't answer for these people we are studying right now. And then not us. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So let's see what he did here. This David, he say, but the king said, King David, say to Arauna, this is the person who was selling the property. No, but I will certainly buy it from you for a price. This is amplified. I will not offer burnt offering to the Lord, my God, which cost me nothing. <laughs> You see, which cost me nothing. So he wanted to worship the Lord with what cost him. You know, you give until you feel it. 
you know, that the, the days and times to give just a penny here, a dollar there is kind, really, must be forgotten. We need to offer God, give God big, big, big things until we feel it. Big money is until we feel it. But you start where you are. You don't sit there and say, I'm going to save until I get a lot, then I give. Just give because God knows. When he nudges you to give, go ahead and give the way you are led. But David, because he had it in his possession, he said, I'm not going to offer God an offering which does not cost me nothing. Because this uh, Arauna, this person who had a property, wanted him to get it for free. He said, no, I'm not going to get this for free because I know free things that, you know, it's, it's not time for that. I'm losing my, my people. I, I mean, this plague need to get out of my, my, my territory. And uh, the way I know the principle is to give. So I'm going to give. So tell me the price. <laughs> so God, uh, so David purchased the, the thresh of four and the oxen uh, for 50 shekels of silver. 25, David built an altar to the Lord there and offered burnt offering and peace offering. So the Lord was moved. <laughs> you see? He didn't go there to kneel down and 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 and, and start you know uh, asking praying and you know using all the vocabulary he had raising the hands and put on a sack of cloth and and uh, you know do overnight prayers and all that kind of things uh, you know we we normally know how to pray but he just went ahead and gave the offering burnt offering bought the place made that altar and gave the the, the burnt offering and God was moved to compassion by David's prayer for the Lord. So he offered that in form of worship. He prayed in form of worship. He prayed by building the altar. Glory to God. And building an expensive one. Expensive altar. Good altar. Good place. And he offered it to the Lord. And the Lord was moved. And the plague was held back from Israel. Look at that. The plague was moved back from Israel. Are we having plagues? Are we scared of plagues all around? <laughs> Let's move God by worship. And worship in a way of giving. And not giving just a little here, a little there. Let's give it until we know that we know that we know that this is a giving. Glory to God. Yes, yes. And another person who gave, who uh, the prayer were answered uh, is, uh, uh, we find that in um, a parent called Job, G-O-B, this was a parent who had kids with issues. And they say, you know what? I'm not just going to keep on praying. I'm going to worship. And his worship also was a form of offering glory to God. So go, let me go ahead. Job one, uh, chapter one, verse five, when the days of their feasting were over. So the children were going, you know, weekend to feast and to have fun with their family and friends. Uh, but when it's over, verse five, when the days of their feasting were over, Job would send for them and consecrate them, rising, uh, ri rising early in the morning and offering burnt offering according to the number of them all. For Job said, "It may be the the it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their." hurts. So Job was doing that occasionally every time. I mean, it, he made it a tradition. He made it that as something to be done continually to repent or to ask God for forgiveness in a way of worship by giving offering, burnt offering again, just like David did. He said, you know, they sinned and there the enemy were coming and the plague were all over the place. You know, as we know, Second Chronicles 7, 14, it say, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, you know, and, 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 and stay away from their wicked ways and, you know, pray to me, I will hear them. So they, they knew the rules. They knew what God desires. So for, 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 for job, just like it, 
uh, uh, David, King David did. So Job was like, you know what? Sin gets us in trouble. So I'm going to repent on their behalf and I'm not going to just sit here and, 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 and repent just by words. I'm going to act. I'm going to express my reverence to the forgiver. I'm going to express my reverence and honor and adoration to God who forgives by way of giving offering. He went ahead and did the burnt offering, not just repent, but give as well. Send that worship of yours. Let it be a good smelling aroma before the nostrils of the almighty God and God will be moved. God will act. God will do something for you because he is a God who answers prayer. He is a God who looks down in your heart and goes ahead and responds accordingly, just depending on how you approach him. So this week we just covered and learned how we can approach him by the way of worship and worship. It can be with the other, me- other means by like singing or uh, uh, praising. But this worship we learned today is about giving God a substance, something tangible. Give God something which really you know that you know it, you have given and it will move God. It will touch God and God will respond to what is in your heart. Glory to God. He did it for these people. We just learned he will absolutely do it for you because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he looks at his word to confirm what he has said. Glory. Hallelujah. So you are a worshiper, my dear. You are a worshiper because you have been created by God to just do that. And not only created, but you have also been saved, washed, cleansed by the blood of his only one son, which which we all know that the only name given to us to be saved. So you are created to worship. Number two, you are saved, washed. I mean, maybe you have been filled by the Holy Spirit. So go ahead and be what you need to be. Be the salt and be the light. According to Matthew 5, Hallelujah, Jesus said that. So go ahead and share your saltiness. Go ahead and share your light. And that is also a way of giving. Obey God. Let God be the leader of what you need to do with what he has blessed you with. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the listener. Thank you for your daughter and your son. Thank you, Father God, because you love us so much. You want us to know how to pray. And therefore, Father, thank you for giving us this other day to learn how to worship you in a way of giving. And you will respond by answering the desires of our hearts. We love you, Lord. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, everyone. And I do believe you are sharing these messages. I do believe you're going to respond by doing what we have learned today. I do believe the word of God has authority and power. Just trust and believe and you will see the word transforming your life. If you are not a person of prayer, I do believe all these sessions we are are doing, you will have the ability to pray. And you're not going to pray just by praying. You're going to pray to get the answers. Glory to God. Therefore, be blessed and uh, until the next time, this is Ando from the Verse Podcast where we help believers believe. Bye-bye for today.